Welcome to week 14, testing access control. Why do we want to test? Well, it's simple. We can have the best systems in place. If we don't test it, we don't know that. We have a third party test who doesn't know what we did. This way we get a completely unopinionated. They don't know anything about our hardware, software applications. Someone comes in and tests it. Try to break in. We're giving a hacker permission to try to get into our system. That's what this is about. And it allows us to see why are we going to do this. So we're going to look at how we go about testing. We're going to look at penetration testing. We're going to look at the system development life cycle. Uh, how do we go about? What is the rules for engagement? Who does what? You know, one of the things we always have to be concerned with is, you know, we design the software. We design our hardware. And they're supposed to play nice together. But let's face it, in reality, they don't. If you have Mac users, uh, you have different operating systems on the same network using the same applications and sometimes there's holes we don't know about them hence why we test we want to make sure that the testing gets done and that the process is done throughout the system we're going to look at the system development life cycle for testing uh, you know the seven layers are planning requirements analysis software design development testing release and then uh, support so we're going to look at that we're also going to look at the system development life cycle for testing applications and that is the initiation the acquisition development implementation testing operations so these are some of the things we're going to be looking at each uh, this week why do we want to you know part of it we have to develop a test plan what are we going to test what are we trying to look for do we want just ports tested? Do we want the whole network tested? Do we want social engineering tested? Do we want this to be uh, controlled testing or do we want someone just to get in and figure out, try to get in and then we have to figure out what went wrong and how did they get in? We looked at, we're gonna be looking at all different softwares that are available to help with the testing. We're gonna look at Zenpack. We're gonna look at Nmap, Nessus, uh, Retina, and how these all help and assist. So even if you're a network administrator, if you're in charge of security, you can have all these applications running. So you can monitor your ports on a daily basis. Did an application accidentally go in and open a port that shouldn't have been open? So by monitoring all these systems, it allows, it helps prevent us from being getting uh, broken into, getting an attack. We're going to do a gap. We're going to review why it's so important to have a gap analysis. This is where we are. This is where we want to be. We're going to look at the different domains, the user domain, the workstation, the LAN, the LAN to WAN domain, the WAN op domain, the remote access, right? We've talked about that in system applications. Then they're going to have the penetration testing. There's different teams that go along with that. So we're going to look at those also and how all that comes together. Then in the end, the uh, testing facility, the attackers, we're going, to, we're going to go through the information. They're going to have... What, was it, what vulnerabilities were detected? What recommendations to do it? The penetration attempts, when did they do it? How was, the, how was it stopped? And then an analysis of that report. And the last thing they gotta remember is to clean up. If they open specific ports, if they use uh, created passwords, to, ha to shut all that down to prevent anything from happening. So that's what chapter 14 is about. So we're gonna take a look at that. And we're gonna look at what's due this week. So week 14, we have our weekly assignments, which will be a reading assignment, your weekly discussion question, and your quiz, and your journal entry. So you're going to take a look at that. And our assignments, week 14 discussion question is, why is it important to test access control systems? Remember, it is due by Thursday at 11.59. Should be about 250 words. Should have a reference. Your paper, two to three papers, discuss the life cycle of the security system. Again, it has to, should be an AP, APA, and this is not due until Sunday night. Uh, please look at the rubric that I have out there for you. Uh, also, you have a journal entry. What did you learn this week? Again, that's just a short paragraph in your quiz. So that's what we have on tap this week. We only have another really week left. So remember, if you have questions, please email me.
uh, or go to the student link question link. You can ask questions there. Also, remember, what made you smile? Think about that. You can let us know. Have a wonderful day.